In this video, we'll be talking about the ratio, rate, and proportion. The ratio, rate, and proportion. So the difference between these three things is first, ratio talks about the same thing, the same category. So for example, the ratio of women to men. In rate, we're dealing with two different units like miles per hour or kilometers per hour. In proportion, we're talking about the relation between two things. Or it could be also about part of a whole. So let's look at some examples of ratio, rate, and proportion. So first, ratio could be something like women to men. The ratio of women to men. Because they're the same thing, the same category. An example of rate might be something like miles to hours. The speed rate, miles to hours. So we're dealing with two different categories, two different units. Finally, in proportion, which talks about relation or part of a whole, we could have the ratio or the relation between women to men. So say this is two to one. And part of a whole, women to whole, which is women plus men. So as you can see, in proportion, we talked about relation or part of a whole. In this part, W plus M represents the whole, and W is the part. In probability now, we have permutation and combination. Now, permutation is the number of cases for choosing R things out of N things. Combination is the number of ways to choose R things from N things. The difference is, in permutation, we take into account the order and in combination, we don't. So in permutation, we use the equation NPR to calculate the number of cases. Now in permutation, AB is not the same as BA. We count them as two separate things. And in combination, we use NCR equation. And because we do not consider the order, AB and BA will be considered the same thing in combination. So in permutation, we take into account the order. In combination, we disregard the order. So we went over some ratio rates and proportion as well as the probability. And to add in rate, we could have something like speed rate or the work rate. These are the most commonly found rates on GMAT exam. So make sure you know these vocabularies before your GMAT math test.